It's midsummer and I'm at my mum and dad's house. There's the back garden. Stuff is in bloom, as you can see. But it's these guys that I'm particularly interested in, the fuchsias. As you can see, my dad's got this one here, which is looking rather splendid. Some begonias, strawberries, and another fuchsia in full bloom. What I want to do is show you guys how to take cuttings from these and then you grow them on and then hopefully replicate this bad boy here later on in the year. Now it looks like my dad has already used this propagating method, taking cuttings of fuchsias. I think he did take some from those big ones we've just had a look at. What I'm going to do is take some cuttings from the small ones that he's growing on and we'll try and replicate this process. So what I'm looking for is this. This is prime rib. So what you want to do is on this stem here take a cutting take it down to about there where the two leaves branch off snip that off and we could probably do the same with this one here maybe take it there and I don't know maybe one here just take a little cutting there I'm just going to use some secateurs but you can use scissors if you've got scissors all right we've got our three cuttings what you want to do next is take these two side leaves off the top here the same for this one take that one and that one off and probably the same with this one you want to try and leave these top leaves still connected to the stem. This is what we're left with. The three cuttings, there are the leaves, and we will now add these to a little glass or jar of water. Now what you're trying to do is replicate this situation here. All I've done is got myself a little plastic pot, put some water in the bottom, and I've rested the three cuttings inside, as you can see. Now hopefully, in a couple of weeks time, we'll start to see some roots forming on the bottom of those three stems there. And once those have formed, we'll be able to plant these out into pots and grow a fully fledged fuchsia plant. Now I'm just going to leave this in the greenhouse. Like I said, for the next couple of weeks, if you haven't got a greenhouse, what you can do is just put it on a sunny windowsill and that should do just as well. All right, we'll come back to this in a couple of weeks, like I said, once those roots have formed. Here we are about three weeks further on. And let me show you what's happening these guys. There we go. As you can see, roots are formed. Only on two out of the three cuttings. That guy there. Got the whole network. The third one has produced nothing at the moment. But we're hopeful, he'll just carry on staying in the pot of water. What I have had to do over the last three weeks is change the water. You might see there's a green tint to it. So every couple of days I did tip out the water and replaced it with fresh stuff. Anyway, we've got to plant up those two that have rooted into these two pots and that will be the final step of this process. 
These two pots just contain multi-purpose compost. I've made two holes using a pencil just here in each pot and we will now plant the cuttings. And that's it for these two particular cuttings. I've placed them up against the edge of the pots as you can see. The science and theory behind that is apparently the roots like something to press against. So if you plant them in the middle of a pot they don't like it so much, they find it harder to anchor themselves. But if they're placed against the edge, then, like I said, they can press against it and anchor, the, anchor themselves a lot better. This fella here I'll just leave in this pot of water for the next week or so and see if any roots do develop. If not, you can always take more cuttings from more developed fuchsia plants and recreate this little experiment here. And after a couple of months, you should have something like this. A completely new fuchsia plant from one of those cuttings there. How easy is that? Also might have a home for a snail. That's it for this one. If you've enjoyed it, then please do hit the like button, share the video around. Please do subscribe to the channel because that always helps. But most importantly of all, do comment down below. And until the next one, bye for now.